Claude Code set the bar for AI-assisted coding. It gave us IDE integration, context awareness, task lists, and diffs. And for a lot of developers, that has been all you really need. And honestly, it's become the standard. Not because it's perfect, but because until now, there really hasn't been anything else quite like it. ChatGPT, Perplexity, they aren't really for context-aware coding assistance. Lovable and Bolt are mainly for the what are you shipping today indie hacker bros who don't know how to code and get into trouble down the road. And then there's these other options that are comparable, but they have their own unique flavors. And Warp is one of those. So I did a video about a year ago when Warp was just a terminal, going over some of the foundational features like workflows, synchronized tabs, all the AI capabilities, etc. in the context of Kubernetes. Those features are all still there and are very powerful, but things have just drastically changed. Warp just released a set of new features that not only match Claude code point for point, but actually go further with their own personality. The coding features they just released around code review with line edit code diffs, code editing, file tree, and syntax highlighting are non-existent in Claude code alone as we speak. But I'm a huge Claude code fan. I use it for 95% of all AI tasks. And the reason I quickly adopted it is because there really is nothing else like it. I had no other options to try out until now. So in this video, I'm gonna do two things. First, I've downloaded the latest build of Warp, which gives me access to all of these new cutting edge features, which is available now to the public as we speak. But I wanna share some of these features with you that I think are game changing updates. And second, I wanna point out as we work through these, how they compare to Claude Code and how Warp is positioning themselves to be a leader in this space. They've already scored a 71% on the SWE bench, which is a primary benchmark for evaluating LLMs and AI agents on coding tasks. They also scored number one on Terminal Bench, 20% ahead of Claude Code. That in itself says a lot. And with this Warp 2.0 launch that just happened, I got in touch with Warp and they kindly offered to sponsor this video and the comparison I'm about to make over and against Claude Code. And just a heads up, Warp has a generous free tier, but they gave me a limited time promo for you guys where you can sign up for the pro plan for just five bucks. That link will be below if you wanna jump on that, or you can just use the promo code Travis. So let's go ahead and start out with some of the key features that have become standards in the agentic coding space and where Warp stands now with its latest release. And number one on that list is IDE compatibility. So this is a big one for me and why I've brought it up first. So I've used Claude Code pretty consistently now for quite some time, and I run it in the integrated terminal in my IDE. A simple IDE command, choose cursor, and it integrates with my IDE. And from there, I create prompts, I can see updates to files in the form of diffs, and accept those updates if needed. And I can edit files normally. I love it. Now Warp has rolled out some of these same features. In fact, they have a different philosophy for their product called ADE, or Agentic Development Environment, where every task begins with a prompt. And I think looking down the road, they may just be on the right track here. So let's see what's actually new in Warp. Now I have a simple app here for demonstration. Let's say I'm working on some code and want to edit a file. Well, command O lets me choose the file I want. Let's pick the countdown timer.jsx file. And look at this. I get a tabbed editor with syntax highlighting and all of that. So I can now code here in Warp with their lightweight editor. And this is brand new and I think really helps bring Warp up to that level of IDE integration without becoming a full-blown IDE. Remember, Warp is based in the terminal and designed for writing code with agents. With the new editor, instead of becoming an IDE, Warp instead takes the most important parts of an IDE, namely tabbed file editors with syntax highlighting and a few other things I'll show you in a minute, and bakes it right in without all the fluff, keeping the agent side of things at the forefront. And I think what happened is when Claude Code brought the AI in the terminal to the IDE, it completely eliminated that context switching that we all hate. And that's what Warp is recognized as well. No need to leave the terminal for the IDE, just edit your code via a tabbed editor here in the Warp terminal environment also. You can have AI start building something and then you make all the little tweaks you need by hand. So that's a huge improvement and I think brings it to par with where Claude Code is, but with its own particular flavor and perspective. You don't integrate one with the other, Warp actually just has it all in one package, one single environment. So that's a huge plus for me. Now number two is gonna be context. 
Context is everything with AI. Another huge winner which made Cloud Code such a success is the fact that it has immediate context to your project, your specific folder, and the files within it. In fact, you can run slash init in Cloud Code, and it will examine your code base and create a cloud.md file with information about your project from architecture to getting started commands. Well, Warp has context of your project as well, but they have added two new commands. In fact, when you open up a new project, it will guide you through two questions. Check this. I have a simple app I created a while back to convert HEIC files, which is the photo format used by the iPhone, and it converts them to JPEG. It's a very simple desktop app, but let's open this code base. And since this is a new code base being opened, it first asks to index this code base. You can also do this at any time with the slash index command. Yes, warp now has slash commands. And in running this, warp indexes your git tracked code base to help agents understand your code and generate more accurate completions and answer questions using real knowledge of your code. And if you do command comma to open settings, you can see the status of your code base sync. Second, and much like Claude code, it will ask you if you want to create a warp.md file, which operates much like the Claude.md and can also be created at any time with the slash init command. These are features that I think are becoming sort of a standard with agentic tools, and I'm glad to see warp provide these capabilities as well. Now, number three, and the final thing that's equally paired before we get to some differences, is task lists and diffs. One thing that I found very helpful with Cloud Code is that it provides a task list. So when you prompt it, it would think, then it would generate a list of sequential tasks and would check them off as it worked. So not only can you see what it intends to do and that it aligns with what you want it to do, but you can then see them completed step by step. Well, Warp now has the same. When you prompt the agent, it creates a series of tasks that it checks off as it works. And as files are being edited, added, deleted, etc., Warp shows you the diffs what's being added and removed with syntax highlighting as well. You can even select a specific code diff and attach it as context for the agent. And one reason why I'm sort of locked in with IDEs is because I really find Git visualized useful to see diffs for all my files. In fact, as much as I loved Zed, which is another agentic based IDE, it didn't have this smooth Git diff functionality like cursor or VS code though I haven't used it in a while, so maybe it does now. But one feature that is personally game-changing for me is that I can see all of my diffs by clicking on them here. So I don't even need the Git features of an IDE as I have the full list of diffs now here in Warp. Claude Code by itself doesn't have this, only when paired with an IDE that does. So let's do this now. Let's try to build something easy from a design that we feed to Warp in order to demo some of these features that I've mentioned so far. So I'm gonna start things off with this prompt. Let's create this mobile app in React Native. Use Expo, here's the design, be sure to create a folder for it. And I'm gonna take this design that I found on Dribbble and I'm gonna add it to the prompt so that it'll have this design to work with, to mimic. Let's go. And you see here that it formulates that series of steps that it will follow. It's gonna create the Expo project. And we have this menu here where we can see the steps as well at any time. And then here it gives us a diff of a file that we're creating. In fact, this is brand new, so most of all this will be green. And actually it just put the component and CSS and everything right into the app.js file because it's such a simple and small project. So it'll probably skip the last few steps. Okay, let's run it and then we can view it on my mobile phone in the Expo app, see how it did. Looks really good, works well for a first run. So the way Warp works is we work primarily with prompts. Then of course, I can say, as I'm building my app, I don't like this green color for the start button. I have blue that I want to use. So I can open up this app.jsx file and do the coding myself. So there's this idea of working alongside the agent. And I can at any time view the untracked diffs that I've created. So now let's say we want there to be a border around the stopwatch. I'll use the agent for this. And done. And say I want that stroke a bit bigger. So again, I'm gonna go into the code editor and I'm gonna increase that myself. And of course you can see those changes real time. And this app is off to a great start. Warp has provided now the tools for me to lead with prompts, and I also have a tabbed editor with syntax highlighting, diffs, and context to work with all in one complete package. 
So here's how I see it. Let's take a detour for a second. Claude Code has created what I think are some standards around what works best for agentic coding at this stage, namely the features we just mentioned. And other apps are beginning to follow suit. Warp, again in my opinion, sees this and wants to bring these standards to its own platform. Now the leg up I think that Warp has here is that it, one, has all these features in one single terminal environment where Claude can operate in one terminal or a terminal plus an IDE. And two, Warp is very particular about what it wants to be. And as it adds these features, it is careful not to stray from that. It's everything in one place where Claude code is more modular and can be paired with other tools, which has its pros and cons. Now, let me point out some areas where Warp moves ahead of Claude code, especially with their latest updates. Here are a few. Number one, active AI. So with Claude, you get a box and you can type in it. There are no prompt suggestions, auto suggestions, things like that. In fact, I pair Claude code with the AI and cursor to utilize the cursor tab features where it auto suggests file changes based on your actions. So while Warp doesn't do this, because remember, it's not trying to be an IDE, Warp's active AI feature has prompt suggestions based on what you're doing in the terminal, as well as what they call next commands, which uses AI to suggest what you plan to type next for you. For instance, if you use a git add command, then it will suggest next the git commit command. In warp, I can switch between terminal commands and AI prompts in the same session and tab. So warp in this way has a huge leg up on Claude code alone in regards to terminal efficiency. Second, warp has a prompt library. I don't know about you, but I have particular prompts that I run often. Check out my last video for some examples. One I have here is a prompt I use on all of my own personal projects. And with warp, I can save this and run it when I need it. Next is models. So I don't know if you've been following the Claude code Reddit threads lately, but there are some strongly mixed feelings around the quality of Claude these days. And to state the obvious, Claude code gives you, well, Claude. Whereas Warp gives you access to more models such as GPT-5, Gemini, Claude, etc. Enough said. And then finally, voice dictation. So this one's a big deal for me. I actually took my older camera deity shotgun mic and set it up directly in front of me under my monitor for this very purpose. I wanna start talking more than typing because I think this is where the wind is currently blowing and it's obviously much faster than typing. And for many of us, we can make sense of speaking our thoughts faster than thinking through typing it. All right, so we've gone a little long here, but what's the conclusion? Well, with these new releases by the Warp team, I think we have a clear alternative to Claude code now, but one that aims to keep it all in an environment that many devs love to work in, the terminal. But that terminal is now shipped with a suite of features for shipping agent-generated code. Your agent is there, multi-threaded agents, auto-suggestions, prompt and workflow storage and retrieval, and IDE-like file editing. And given that it's all in one package, it actually surpasses the abilities of Claude Code, and I'm super excited to continue using it and seeing where the team takes it from here. What do you think? Have you tried it out? Let's discuss below down in the comments. Again, be sure to check out this limited time promo that Warp is offering, which is the pro plan for just five bucks. A unique link for that will be down below in the description. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so, and I'll see you in the next video.